Hey guys, I wanted to do a little bit of a get ready with me and talk about how Hashimoto's and pregnancy is going and to give you guys a little bit of a backstory about how we are now currently expecting our third and I am 23 weeks pregnant and I wanted to tell you how that's going, what my biggest symptom is right now and how we ended up getting pregnant. So I began to first have symptoms of Hashimoto's three years ago that I can really notice. That is when the fatigue started and I really knew that something was wrong and I consulted many doctors and I ended up having to consult three, four different doctors before I was able to get an official diagnosis, which I only just got a little over a year ago that I indeed had Hashimoto's. So because my thyroid has not been intact enough by my immune system, I have not qualified for medication, which means I have been healing my thyroid alone through diet, which has looked like paleo, it has looked like Whole30, it has looked like medical medium, and now currently keto, which I am seeing results really quickly with. First, I want to talk about the first trimester. The first trimester was so much different. I didn't get as intense of nausea for some reason. I don't know if that's just a fluke because I haven't had a baby in six years, so if I'm just getting older, but I have a feeling for some reason Hashimoto's and hyperlactin played into that. Um, I'm not sure how. Um, another thing was I used to get really bad restless legs, so like leg cramps and like my toes would cramp up while I was sleeping. Didn't get that. Um, I did have like a handful of headaches, but I don't know if that was just hormones fluctuating, but I didn't get those as bad either. Um, I was able to eat more and I also, this was amazing, did not get that extreme sense of smell that I did with my other pregnancies. I don't know if anybody can relate with that, but that was probably the worst thing when you're hit with all of the smells. Now, mind you, yes, when you're a little bit nauseous, smells just affect you regardless, but this time it was not to the point where I would gag because of it. Um, so that's how my first trimester went. Now my second trimester, um, it was going great. And then all of a sudden I started having headaches and some nausea. So I went to the doctor, got that checked out and I was having high blood pressure, but it wasn't high enough yet to where they wanted to do anything, but it was high enough to where I knew I needed to be proactive about it because I have never in my life had high blood pressure. Um, so I knew I wanted to be proactive about it. So I began to take a baby aspirin, which was something they recommended anyway for preeclampsia and I have not had an issue with my blood pressure since. I'm also doing this pregnancy unmedicated completely, so I started to get a little bit of my fatigue back in the second trimester. So I got more aggressive about what I was eating because I could, because now I didn't just have to eat what I was craving. I can now discipline my body a little bit more to where I have more options because I can eat more things. I'm not sick anymore. So right now I'm doing keto and I am doing a little more carbs than is typically allowed with keto. So I will have potatoes and I will have half and half in my coffee and I have decaf coffee. Yeah, so so far that's how the pregnancy is going. I do plan on making more of these since I am only 23 weeks. Hopefully this was helpful to some of you and I know some of you probably have a lot of questions, some things that I didn't cover. So please feel free to comment and I will answer those as best as I can. But yeah, that is it for now. Thanks so much for watching, guys.